All right, good afternoon. Um, I'm Mark Gellarducci. I'm director of the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Uh, today, uh, we, we are up here in Plumas County with the state public safety leadership uh, from the California National Guard, from Cal Fire, Cal Recycle, and California Highway Patrol, as well as our partners from the U.S. Forest Service and uh, our elected uh, leaders uh, to talk about the incident and, and the impacts that the fire has had uh, to the community here in uh, Greenville, as, as well as the region as a whole, um, uh, and, and, and to talk about how we can begin the, the process for recovery. Um, you know, uh, it's uh, unfortunate yet uh, that we are now at another uh, really catastrophic event uh, as a result of uh, wildfire and, and, the, and the conditions that are creating these, these fires. And um, uh, today we were able to uh, take a tour of the area, uh, meet with our, our local uh, government uh, partners, uh, and talk about how we're going to begin the process uh, of the recovery. Uh, at this point, uh, we are in the process of doing a damage assessment uh, to take into the totality of all of the losses in the multiple counties that have been, have been impacted by these series of fires. Everything from, from uh, Placer County in the River Fire down south, all the way up to Siskiyou County uh, and Trinity Counties, the Monument McFarland uh, Fire in the north. Uh, so um, a lot is happening with regards, while the fire is still being fought, uh, we are not really waiting. Uh, we are working uh, to actively begin the process of getting that damage assessment done. Uh, and then uh, we'll work with our partners uh, at the Federal Emergency Management Agency uh, to see about uh, getting some additional aid, if, if possible, uh, to support uh, the state and, and the, the state programs coming together uh, in support of these communities. Um, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, uh, Chief uh, Tom Porter from CAL FIRE. He's going to kind of give us a quick overview of the uh, fire conditions, uh, and then we'll answer any questions. Thanks. Thank you, Director Gilarducci. And, and uh, really, what I want to say quickly here is that while we are moving quickly into recovery mode uh, here and working through what it's going to take to recover in all of these communities. Uh, we're, we're not taking any uh, effort away from the firefight here on the Dixie or any of the other large fires that are burning throughout California. Those are interagency responses, um, federal, state, and local all working together and really working primarily to identify those areas where we can protect lives and property, uh, and then get some perimeter control uh, on the fires that we have. The concern we have going into the next few days is another bout of monsoonal moisture coming up through Southern California, turning into dry lightning potentially uh, through this area and all the way to the north coast of California and then into Oregon, Washington as well. So that's of, of grave concern in the near term and we're also very well aware that we have a long peak season left in, our, in this year. So we're gonna be at this uh, for uh, months to come. So we need you as the public to be very vigilant, very vigilant in not creating sparks that could ignite vegetation. If, it's, if there's even a blade of grass near you, that is enough to start a fire these days. It is so dry. And the way we've seen this, uh, this, t this burn through uh, live timber uh, in the tens of thousands of acres an hour is unlike anything we've seen other than a few times. And those few times, most of them have been within the last year or, year or two years. So extremely dry, take care, identify fires, call 911, know that we have a long way to go and it's important that we do this. There is way too much of our watershed and timberlands that are burning. This is an economic base, particularly in this part of the state, that we can't lose any more of. We've already lost way too much. We need to protect these forests. Thank you. All right, so in, in closing, let me just say that um, all the folks that are up here uh, will be working 
uh, in a one team, one fight effort to begin this process of making sure that we can get the communities back up on their feet uh, and, and making sure that we're taking care of uh, the needs of the, of the survivors of, of all of these uh, terrible fires. And uh, I want to tell you that if you have suffered a loss uh, and you have insurance, to make sure you make contact with your insurance providers now uh, so that they be can begin the process of being able to uh, help you navigate through that process. We, in the coming days, will be working with uh, the counties uh, to set up local assistance, assistance centers. In fact, there's been one already open and, and then closed here in Plumas. It'll be opening again shortly uh, and in some of the other counties as well. So more on that as, as time goes on. Uh, with that, thank you very much.